Good morning to you. All right. Okay, guys. So this is really exciting. Um, <laughs> this is this is my demo. Or I guess I'll point this way. <laughs> this is my demo. I'm pointing this way because this is where my screen is. Uh, point that way because you know that's better. Um, dang. So last night, for those of you who are unfamiliar with what I do uh, for a living, I'll go ahead and I'll I'll zoom in like that. That's kind of nice. Hey, David. Uh, good, goodest of mornings. <laughs> good morning. Um, for what I do for a living, I am a, a lead character artist at Marvel, and uh, on Friday nights I teach a class at Noman about stylized character modeling, and so this is <laughs> this is my render demo from yesterday. Um, I had. Uh, I had worked on doing the pose as part of a demo for my class at Noman, and you know, kind of everything. I did, I did, I did everything. <laughs> kind of uh, the the Sailor Moon aspect of it is a character is you know something that I worked on outside of everything, right? Um, if you're following me on Instagram, you'll have seen kind of where I was developing this uh, as like a work in progress sort of thing for the. Uh, <laughs> What's it called for the uh, redraw Sailor Moon <laughs> challenge <laughs> that was happening last year? Uh, last year, year before, I can't remember. It all blends together anyway. The pandemic just counts as one lump year, right? Uh, so you could say last year, and it can mean any time in the last three years. Um, hey, gorgeous. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, technically the character has been around for a little bit, but uh, I have gone through so many different phases with her. The clothing is part of like a, like a clothing demo that I did for my class, um, just to be able to show different techniques of making clothing. Um, there are a couple of things that I would like to do to be able to make this so that she's you know, finished. I mean, you know, like, like I want to finish going through, finish posing this arm. I want to give her some sort of prop. Um, I don't know yet if that's going to be some sort of sword. Uh, so maybe I'll take like the sword that I already have from other characters and I'll like modify it so that it's big and bold. And, uh, or I don't know, like maybe, maybe she's fighting off zombies in a zombie apocalypse. And so maybe she needs like a baseball bat with, with like barbed wire around it or something. I don't know. We'll have to go through and debate on that. If you guys have any input on that, let me know. And, uh, we'll get started. I mean, I've got a blank version of ZBrush open and we're going to jump in here. Let's see. This is the, uh, this is the one that we did last night. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. You can already tell we've got some things that we got to fix here. So let's go ahead. Let's grab skin shade, Z plugin. Let us grab Z plugin. I think what we're going to do have to do is like with the body, we're going to have to come in here with, let me see if I can select it. Cause what happened is like last night I went ahead and I, yeah, I guess we can leave that on. Uh, last night I created new UVs for this so I could fix it. <laughs> yeah. The sketch material is always in there in the worst times, right? So let's go ahead and in here, underneath texture map, when we have a texture applied, I mean, I could turn it off and it's going to have the, the skin shade material on there. It's not a big, big, big problem. But if we have that on, we need to come down to the fill and fill mat and that'll give us the solution that we're looking for. Okay. So those shorts need UVs, but I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Um, it's just going to get a flat material in Maya anyway. Like, you, you, like, uh, shoot. It's right over here. Um, you can see like this kind of velvet-esque velvet uh, material for the vest. 
Uh, that's what I have applied to her shorts as well. Um, so yeah, a couple of things that I want to do. I want to pose this leg, this uh, this straight leg here, so that it's like up and really dynamic. Um, and then I also want to take this uh, this back arm, especially the hand, um, and I need to make it so that she's looking like she's holding something, right? So um, part of what we're going to need to do is, in fact, let's let's go ahead, let's delete whatever we don't need here. Interesting. Let's say delete this. <clears throat> cool. The uh, yeah. Once we bring this leg up, hopefully all the musculature in her stomach will make a little bit more sense. Um, but yeah, this is going to be quite a bit of work here. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to actually turn off the texture map so I can see what I have so far as polygroups. It looks like I have absolutely nil so far as polygroups. Okay. Um, which is miserable, but you know, one of those things that I can do is, you know, make my own polygroups again, you know, ta-da. Simple, uh, simple. <laughs> I'm just gonna start down here at the ankle and then control shift S. That way I can get rid of the entirety of the foot and then control shift S until I get up to the part of the leg where I want it to be just the leg, right? So there we go, control W. There we go, polygroup, boom. Now, for the other direction, we can just zzz, come down here and we can select the foot. That way we have a way to be able to control the foot, like the bending of the foot. Um, yeah, seeing a nice render like that, I just wanna fast forward to the next year when they add a renderer to ZBrush because I'm not about to unwrap life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, shoot. Here we go. And then let's just, for the sake of making it nice, so that the one leg doesn't get jealous of the other, right? Let's go ahead and kind of shrink down to get to the foot on the other side. So now we have polygroups for the feet, polygroups for the legs, and in fact, it could be cool seeing an extra polygroup. Oops. Oops. Okay, right there. Let's grab that. Control W so that we get an extra polygroup on that bend in the leg. Although, it might not matter a whole lot. We'll, we'll keep it just so that we can kind of define that space. And I think that that'll be helpful. Okay, let's go ahead and shrink this down. Oh, let's go ahead and get rid of the foot. Control W, so that way we can define it. Uh, it's just a matter of bookmarking a, a particular loop just to make sure that when we have this posed, we don't have to worry about like, uh, which one's supposed to be the outs uh, the outward loop in this, uh, <laughs> in this thing. All right. Federico. Hello, how you doing? Good morning. Actually, I don't know if it's morning for you or not, but you know, it's morning for me, so it's good morning. Uh, thank you for showing that hide method. Uh, that would be super useful. Absolutely. I usually just hide loops and then auto group, but this is way more precise. Yeah, it's it's it can take some time, and there are di definitely different ways of, of doing it, but uh, 1,300 hours, huh? Shoo, so yeah, you're just after lunchtime. All right, so the other thing that I wanna do, I want to control my hand. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's hide the rest. Control Shift S, let that shrink. Oh no, extra, there we go. Then we'll just Control Shift, Control Shift Alt, uh, hide those things. There we go, let's grab that arm, boom. Control W. Same thing, control shift S and we'll just uh, shrink it down. Control W. Uh, 
and control W. I mean, I want to have polygroups for each of the fingers too. So that's going to be, you know, that'll be something. <laughs> And this is an opportunity where, where it's kind of like what you were talking about there, actually, where you're saying about using the, uh, using the, oh shoot, um, the, the grouping. <laughs> what am I trying to say? <laughs> Okay, where it's like we come on, we have all these different things open, and now we can just come down here to polygroups and we can say auto groups. Real simple. Makes it a little bit easier. Now I can control those fingers a little bit more easily. I I'm gonna leave the hand this hand the way it is. I do want to get the hips though and give them like their own polygroup. It's kind of fun having that uh torso twist there though. I don't know how natural that feels. So we're going to we're going to work on this a little bit at some point today. I'm just going to take this and just kind of shove this up. Uh, cuz a lot of what's happening and what we got to be aware of is that when the body twists this much, well first off I think it's going to pull on her belly button a little bit more than it is. <laughs> um but there's, I don't know, there's there's like, you gotta think about like the conservation of mass, right? The conservation of form, uh, volume, and the way that, you know, for instance, she's got this rib cage in here that, yeah, the rib cage has a little bit of flex to it in the shape. Um, but really, I mean, it's, it's pretty, uh, Let's go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead and give this arm its own poly group. Oh, shoot. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Zoot dado. C'est simple. Okay, let's grab the uh, mask lasso. Because I very clearly did not pay enough attention <laughs> to the fact that I had other things hidden. Um. Let's see. Okay, I was gonna say that's its own polygroup, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll grab the uh, the torso now. Let's grab all of this just for sake of like speeding it up. Let's get real quick in there, and let's grab everything above that line. Okay. That feel good. Yeah, I'll say that feels good. Let's let's say that. that that'll work. All right. So yeah, there might be like a little bit of like a protrusion from the hip right there, but it's you know going to be fairly simple, fairly uh, subtle. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oops, I didn't want that. Smooth, yeah, smooth. Okay, that's a little bit better. Let's get this leg going. Polygroups, a bit tedious, but definitely, yeah, definitely a sanity saver. <laughs> you totally got it, right on the money. Did you build the retopology in ZBrush? Still a beginner in modeling. I did most of the topology inside of ZBrush. Uh, there might have been some things that I did inside of Maya. I can't remember. I mean, it's been it's been a little while since I built her mesh. I'm pretty sure I did do some things in Maya because there are some areas like here in the fingernails, for instance, where the edge loops are insanely tight, and um, you know, having those loops and having them be so tight. 
using Z Modeler. I mean, it's it's like you can you can get a lot of things merged together, and you can really make yourself unhappy that way. <laughs> um, if you're yeah with Z Modeler because it has that uh, that vertex welding distance, um, and it's it's something that yeah you can you can modify and you can get it to be a little bit better. But it'll still weld things if they're, if they're too close together. Like down here, for instance, this would be a possible problematic area. The fingernails are definitely a problematic area. Around the, the corners of the eyes, I get those welding together all the time. It drives me nuts. <laughs> so it's, it's one of those things that you got to figure out kind of a way to, of combining your tools, uh, whatever you have available to you, to, to, better, uh, to better, you know, create your workflow, you know. Uh, there's a lot that kind of goes into everything. <laughs> there's a lot that goes into everything. That's the easiest way to put it, I think. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's grab this. Got to make sure I soften out that mask so that it's not too Ugh, gross. Okay, I'm just going to try to like get this part way and then sculpt it up because I've got to try to maintain some forms through here. I don't want the hip getting to be too, I'll say gross. <laughs> the hip is, is, is one of those areas, especially on a, on a, on an action pose where it's like, if it looks wrong, it's really wrong. <laughs> um, and so, I, I mean, I'm getting a lot of different things happening in here that I really need to kind of work out, you know? And it's like, I don't, I don't have any re reference for this technically, so it's, that's my bad, right? <laughs> yeah, butts can be kind of, kind of a pain too, but it's, so one of the things that you got to think about, you got to think about what happens with muscles when, when a pose is flexed, right? When somebody's in pose is that, um, you know, any like muscles can only pull. Muscles can only pull. They will never push. So, so a muscle will get bigger as it's like as it's flexing. As it's like so, if I'm pulling something toward me, my bicep is going to going to flex. Probably get some flex in my shoulder and in my pecs. Um, but my back is going to be probably a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more stretched. So a similar thing with like the legs. Um, the legs, I'm going to get like a little bit of stretching on the glutes. So this particular cheek, um, I'm going to try to like mask out the one side here. Something like that. Okay. Um, and I'm going to try to take this and kind of pull it just a little bit. Not a ton, because I mean, I, again, I'm I'm trying to conserve mass. I'm going to try to conserve whatever's happening here with the with the back of the leg. Let's kind of smooth it out. Just, it's a little bit too strong. Let's get that smooth to be smoother or um, uh, more subtle. Okay, so it's starting to go in a good direction there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then I think, bless you. Um, I think what I wanna do, let's grab there, something like, something like that. I'm just gonna kinda rotate. Oh, I didn't even think about that. The shoe. I left the shoe behind. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I am not reposing that leg. <laughs> it's only been a few minutes, I know, but it's like, <laughs> I am not reposing that leg. That is too much. Okay. Well, shoot. Okay, so one of the things. Ugh. <laughs> uh, such a pain. I'm going to pose the, the shoe after I finish posing this leg. 
And it's like, I had totally kept in mind, like, eh, I'll worry about the shorts after I pose the leg. I totally spaced it with the shoe. I feel so, oh, no. <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> it's kind of like that guy in the hunchback where he just, uh, he's like, he busts free out of the stocks. And he's like, I'm free. I'm free. Ruff. Dang it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. All the funnies. Okay, let's go ahead and get this over here. Something like that. It's a nightmare scenario. Yeah, it absolutely is. Good golly. Could be good thing. Could be bad thing. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, let's get this centered a little bit more so that way it's not quite as. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Pull it over. Okay, I don't want these to be parallel. Like right now, you see these, these are parallel. This is going to need to come up so that this foot is up kind of more in this neighborhood up here. Um. So I think I'm going to need to do a couple of things. Let's kind of bring this out, bring this back. That could be cool. Let's see, how does that? Yeah, that could be cool. That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> yeah, forget the hair. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Proceed to pull out my own. Ah, that silhouette reads well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's 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 fun. I think I think that it'll uh, it'll feel really good, specifically from from particular angles. Um, yeah, some angles are always going to read a little bit better than others, but but yeah, I think that'll be all right. I think that'll work. Um, I gotta fix this knee though, cause like this this got boogered up, right? Um, so a few things that I like to do, and I think. I might have shown you guys, but I can't remember for sure. Does the shoe off look kind of good? Oh, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it's just, it's just not what I want. <laughs> no, but that's that's totally fair. That's totally fair. Go ahead, I'm going to grab this. In fact, let's, oops. Let's grab this, let's say, let's just mask everything that's not this. So that way we have that edge completely masked out. Um, it should hopefully help it so that I can, you know, nice and easy, nice and easy. <laughs> make some transition changes here because uh, what I want to do as much as possible I want to make sure that the flesh of the leg is kind of like it's not penetrating itself um, there's going to be some penetration there uh, just because that's how <laughs> that's how I can get away with stuff in 3d um, but I want it to be as close as possible um, to being you know to being nice to not being you know penetrating and everything like that because I feel like it makes it a little bit better um, it makes it feel a little bit more solid more controlled um, <laughs> more anatomical <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and mess that out so that way we've got that edge Kind of worked out and now we can kind of pull away from it here we go there we go like 
the shoe's running and the shoe falls off. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> It's always kind of a crazy. Uh... So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to uh, preserve volumes. So I'm, I'm pushing I'm pushing some of the calf out to the side, you know, as would happen when uh, the muscles kind of meet up, you know. So kind of like pushing it out a little bit, and then I'm trying to pull it down a little bit more so that it feels like it's being, you know, so like it's being pushed, like it's being pushed up against. I'm just gonna try to like smooth out that little bit here. There are a few things. There's a, there's always a little bit of reworking when you're uh, when you're going into these joint areas with extreme poses. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm try to give a little bit more volume onto the sides of the knee here. Oh, that got messy. Look at that. Boom. Let's smooth that out. Not too bad, not too bad. And try to boost some volume here. And I need to look at this real quick because, like, one of the things that'll happen <clears throat> with knees, especially with stylized characters, it gets a little bit more exaggerated than with uh, with actual anatomy. But one of the things that's kind of cool is getting like this like curve on the outside and then more of a straight on the inside. Um, so I'm going to try to do that by, by playing with the positioning of the knee and the way that the muscles dive into that. Um, so you can see like I'm getting a little bit of that. It's a little bit curved here on the inside, but I think that that's probably all right uh, to some extent. Let's, let's go ahead and let's grab this line right here. And I'm just going to use this to kind of flatten it out just a little bit. Let's go ahead and kind of give her a little bit more there, a little bit less there. there let's take this in a little bit. We'll take, oh, right here, there's like a little bit of a dip. Let's kind of pull that out just a little bit. So now we got that nice straight and we got that curve over here. <clears throat> now we got to play with the way that the knee form is actually happening. Like it's getting some weird shapes here on the front. some of that going here this uh these these edges are have like a really weird flow so i want to try to give it some rhyme and reason right um there we go just gotta clean just gotta clean it up by nudging it into into place yeah let it be good i don't think this stream is selling us on the true 3d experience we need twelve thousand percent more pointless spinning the model <laughs> that's true <laughs> Bless the sneezer in the back. Bless you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be my son. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure anyway. Gotta get a little bit of water. I think I've been drinking like way less water this week than I usually do. I usually go through like two of these a day and it's a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is like 120 ounces. Um, absolutely massive. I remember as a kid seeing, and you know what? This leg is being pulled up, so we're going to get some flex to the back of this muscle here. I'm going to go ahead and plump this up a little bit. We might get like a little bit of a, of like a, not, not quite a crease, but not, not a crease.
You know, let's soften it once. Just that we're not leaving all the edges kind of exactly where they are. Um, you know, kind of cozy it out a little bit. Okay, that feels so much better. Look at that leg. That's a beefy leg. And actually, this, this bit right here where it's connecting to the hip probably needs to be brought up quite a bit. I want to I wanna make sure that I'm not... Oh, here, turn off transparency, control one, there we go. I have, so, I mean, people will notice that I don't use a custom UI. I use the vanilla ZBrush, right? Very, very simple, very default uh, interface, right? Everything's kind of where it comes under the standard, uh, standard uh, install ZBrush. The thing that I do all the time Vanilla UI squad in the house. <laughs> uh, the thing that I do is I accept my, my custom hotkeys. And that's what makes everything so, so helpful for me. Yeah, that's a little bit too much muscle there. I'm going to tone that back just a bit. Yeah. This girl be fit. kind of let's kind of take this and beef this up a little bit because like there's this massive muscle uh that i think really gets underplayed sometimes <laughs> and i don't want to overplay it but you know this this muscle here right at the top of right at the top of the leg that connects into the hip it's it does so much to like pull that leg up and it's really crazy cool um you know what? i'm gonna pull this around just a little bit just a little bit, doo -doo -doo. just a little bit, doo -doo -doo. just a little bit. And technically, this breast should be kind of pulled on just a little bit since the arm's being pulled up like that. And this one should be pulled back a little bit. I mean, not a ton. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure that I'm kind of, you know. I mean, there's, there's kind of a balance that you have to try to be aware of when you're doing stylized characters. And I think she probably looks just fine like that. Um, when you're doing stylized characters, you want to be aware of... Um, you want to be aware of the anatomy and how the anatomy should flow and how it should be structured. But you also want to be aware of shape language and shape design, graphic reads, uh, silhouette statements, those sorts of things that are going to help your, your character uh, to be, you know, to be appealing. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot that goes into it. And I feel like, I feel like it's worth taking, taking the time to, to kind of do it, to do it well. <laughs> Let's grab the shorts and see what we can do. <laughs> we'll let auto save run its course. All right, let's see. I want different poly groups for each leg here. Auto groups, boom. Oh, hey, how about that? I want to make sure that, that whole leg piece is kind of selected. So let's let's go in here again. Let's say auto groups. Okay, there we go. Now this is going to be an adventure. This is going to be something that's going to be kind of <laughs> tricky. <laughs> Because the shorts have, it's, they're connected to, to both sides, right? You know, so it's, it's, and it's like, it's so different from. From doing the actual anatomy of it. 
it's it's there's like a ton that goes into getting this to feel right and it might it might be a matter too of me going through and getting rid of the inside I, in fact let's let's do that because i think that's that's going to be my number one unhappy bit <laughs> Get rid of that right there. Let's see geometry, modify topology, delete hidden. Why didn't it delete the hit? Oh, because I have. Oh. You know what? Let's see. Let's get rid of that group. There you get rid of that group. Oh, delete lower, delete hidden, reconstruct as you do, right? As you do. see I always say that well stylized character is a master class in anatomy along the same line as good character is a master class in portraits yeah I think there's definitely a lot of truth to that change your thumbnail I'm not sure what you're talking about with a thumbnail I mean my, my thumbnail is just fine uh, nice sculpture thank you Eduardo Transposing clothes. I believe Dante wrote about that one in one of his circles of hell. <laughs> I gotta double check though. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, what do you think about Pavlovich? Oh, I love Michael Pavlovich. He's amazing. He's amazing. Um, oh, he has stuff on ArtStation? I didn't know he had stuff on ArtStation. I know that he has... Um, I mean, I know that he has like a gum road and things like that. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize that he had it. Like, is it, is it like actual tutorials or is it just like his gum road where he has things available through his own account, that sort of thing? Um, yeah, I love I love Michael Pavlovich. Really nice guy. Um, very generous. <laughs> <laughs> very generous um, and insanely fast very knowledgeable yeah there's there's literally nothing bad to say about Michael Pavlovich anybody who has anything bad to say about him just no no shove them to the side <laughs> Really nice guy, fantastic artist, really fast. He is a machine, well, not really a machine, but he, you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean, you get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Kinda wanna smooth this out some just so I can start from a, a cleaner surface and then I'll start pushing and pulling it again. <laughs> um, one of the nice things about the flow of this topology is that I'll be able to use that to kind of help clean things up. Um, <laughs> I love the way you sculpt and talk chill with the people. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I really super enjoy when I have good people in chat, you know, it's it's just, it makes for a good time, you know? Cause I mean, I come here to have fun, and you know I feel like I feel like other people come to you know, kind of both be you know kind of inspired by other people's art, you know. So you know if somebody else is coming to 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 ZBrush Live. I mean they're wanting to see something fun. They're wanting to see something. Oh, I messed up the paint. Here, let's go ahead. Let's get rid of the. Uh, Get rid of all that. Um, 
yeah coming to to be you know to see other people's workflows and coming to hang out and meet new people and just chat and just have fun and it's you know that's what it's all about really like at the end of the day it's all about having that fun and being able to to socialize in in this very limited but very unique and special way you know it's like that's one of my one of my favorite things to do with work is to like jump on a zoom and just be you know we're not doing anything we're not sharing anything really i mean it's just a matter of I can't see a dang thing because I've got the light coming in through the blinds. Ugh, there we go. That's better. That's better. I got to do something for my background <laughs> at some point. <laughs> okay. One thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm getting like this nice clean line going from underneath her, her underneath her buttocks to the top of this crease right here. I want this to feel like it's bunched into her, uh, into into that, that crease between her thigh and her hips. Um, so I'm gonna work on that a little bit, you know, get it up in there. Cool, cool, that's kind of working. That's working. Cool. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and kind of like smooth out some of these areas down here. It's not looking too, too bad, and it's starting to come along, right? Not too bad, not too bad. You see, how do you make your model semi-transparent like this? So that is, well, I, I set a custom hotkey, so I use control T, but it's this transparent button right over here. So you can turn that on and off. You can also use like the ghost functionality. So it's like, or I guess turn off the ghost functionality. So it's like, you're still seeing through your model, but it's going to have more of like that, uh, you know, like you're you're seeing through the rest of the model. You know, it's it's, it's really kind of an interesting thing. Um, I typically just use it like this because I feel like it allows me to be less distracted by the model. Um, it allows me to to literally kind of just keep the model in mind rather than having it be uh, blocking the rest of the whatever it is that I'm working on when I'm in this mode. Um, it's super helpful. I really like this. Yeah, I love ZBrush, <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> Let's go ahead, I'm gonna to try to pull this out some. Okay, smooth it down. I don't need to smooth it down a ton, but I do need to smooth it down. I mean, you can see like there's a huge gap right there and I definitely don't want it to be that much of a gap. Yeah, you see like boom, just trying to pull this in so that it's not so much of a difference between, between the shorts and the character. Pull that up a little bit. Okay. So now here's where things are going to get cool. As if they're not cool already. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so one of the things I want to do, I love using the topology to make things like folds. Okay. So I'm going to start off 
this that one mm. let's go a little bit lower I guess let's go ahead and say control a bring it all back we can kind of invert our mask okay and now we can just kind of start to pull on this uh, now one thing you want to think about with uh, with folds and fabric is you want to think about what material your fabric is made out of whatever your fold is whatever your um, let's turn off the transparency so we can see see that feels so nice um, you want to think about what it is that you're making and if you're control shift s one more time maybe uh, if you're making a, a thicker material like a like a leather you want to make sure that that uh, your folds are nice and thick you know like that you have thick billowing folds and that you're um, yeah treating treating the the material like it's a like a nice thick thing this these shorts I want them to feel kind of like sweatpants, um, but I want it to feel like it's, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's, kind, it's kind of a tricky thing to balance. Uh, but it's not going to be quite as thick of folds as if it were leather, but not thin folds as if it was like a jersey material, like a t-shirt, right? Um, so yeah, I got that kind of fold going in there. Oops, get my move brush, I don't want to use inflate. Uh, one thing I could do is that if I feel like uh, this, this isn't this isn't working for me, just kind of pull it down some. And I'm just going to kind of smooth out just that little area around it, <laughs> so that hopefully. It allows me to have a much cleaner form on that on that bit, like on that on that edge, kind of coming away from the shorts. Ah, oh, so much to clean up. Okay, let's make sure that's clean and pretty tight to the form. That's a little bit better. take this little bit in here and just kind of pull it out some that's not fun <laughs> okay that's much much better <clears throat> now something that I'm noticing yeah let's let's come in here actually let's let's do it this way I need to get rid of these uh oh, one more Make sure that we have just those bits hidden. Geometry, delete hidden. Ah, lost our paint anyway. Delete higher, <laughs> delete hidden. <laughs> it's gonna be worthwhile just to... Oh, it's still kind of... Uh... You know what? I wonder I wonder if we were to go up. Okay, so we still have that design there. So let's say delete lower, delete hidden. And then we'll just reconstruct our subdivisions. <laughs> okay, that's better. The uh the folds got a little bit less cool, but we can enhance those a little bit here. Let's let's do that. Control shift s let's grab that here we'll just kind of pull on this at first this will help to this will help to kind of strengthen the fold give it a give it something of a shape then we can soften it and pull on it even more be able to fill in that area a little bit more yeah 
Okay, this stuff right in here, let's also do Control Shift S, Control A, bring it back. Okay. I'm getting kind of like this, uh, like this proximity in the folds here. Okay, and that's that's cool. It helps to create this natural sort of sort of flow with the fold. Okay. You shouldn't be sticking in there like that. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can get this to, to fit her waist a little bit better. Let's kind of pull this up, pull this up. Not a ton, but you know, a little bit. Enough to create like this nice gesture through here. I do want the I do want the waistband to feel a little bit thicker than um, than the rest of the short, so I think that's something that I'll I'll go through and kind of be aware of as I'm you know after I add thickness especially but yeah let's see let's grab this and just kind of shove it in just a little bit further got to check and be aware that I'm not like pulling it into the into like into the her uh, into her body here into her pelvis <clears throat> okay kind of pull on this actually let's see maybe this needs to come up a little bit since this leg is kind of lifting in the back it's like I feel like it's going to create these uh, these opposing curves It's so like this one's going to be kind of more of a down curve. This one's going to be more of an up curve. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> like I super enjoy doing this kind of work, like just taking characters to a super finished state where it's all just it's all, it becomes all about the, uh, hey, Prashan, how you doing? Long time no see. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm just going through. I wanted to, to try to take, in fact, let me, uh, let me pull up the picture. This is the, this is the render demo that I did for, my Nomen class last night. <laughs> I went through and just kind of created. I wanted to show uh, taking the character out of ZBrush, putting it into Maya, creating some, uh, creating like a skin shader. I mean, obviously there was only so much that I could do to be able to make the skin shader, but I mean, it it works really, really well. It's really fun too, because like, here's a different angle. Uh, the hair is just the default Arnold uh, skin material. Um, super fun uh, super fun in the way that it that it's turning out uh but i i want to go ahead and you know update her as i go i want to i want to finish her out so that she's got um i don't know maybe i'll give her some sort of like armband or something like that hey leonard <laughs> getting all the all the cool people coming out like so many nice people <laughs> good friends too old and new um but yeah, and so this is this is kind of oh, sketch. Okay, yeah. So these these are the the render demos that I did for last night at Nomen, and uh, yeah, just trying to go ahead and I want to finish this character out so that she's so that she's so that she's finished, right? Um, I don't know in the end if I'll actually keep. I mean, I'll probably keep her uh, her Sailor Moon hair and whatnot, but. You know, she might end up being like, like short haired, not like this, but like with like a, let me see. One of the things that I was thinking about, let's kind of add like a, some, some paint here. Get kind of like a, kind of 
And I like this sort of hairstyle. So I get like the, the hair kind of coming around the back. Do, 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 do. Um, and we'd like nix these. So like this isn't even a thing. Um, probably have like some bangs here in the front. And then have like kind of like this, uh, this graphic shape here on top. I kind of like how that sketch turned out. So I'm going to save it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's one of the things that I do a lot is I'll, I'll go through and I'll do a sketch and then I'll save it and then I'll be like, where did I, what did, uh, what did I want to do with this? I don't remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, one of the, it, it's still cool to me though, to have, you know, Sailor Moon in this totally different outfit, right? It, it's, it's something different. It's something different. I want to go ahead and start masking out. These things. Okay, so now that these are all masked out the way that they need to be, I can go ahead and reposition things. But yeah, I want her to I want her to feel like she's like dressed for dainty, but then I also want her to to feel capable and strong and and things like that. So uh so the pose is kind of like showing that she's, you know, in action, right? Um but then I want her outfit to still feel like she just walked out of class or like she I don't know. Um you know, something something of that nature though, right? Let's kind of rotate that up. Put her in her place. Get that shoot. Okay. How does that look? How does that look? Not great. We gotta rotate it some more. <laughs> okay, it's not great, but it's not bad. It's just you know, it's it is what it is. Um, something like, something like this. I think I need to rotate the top. Let's check that. That feels a little bit better. Her heel's out of the shoe, but I think I can feel fix that let's actually just do it like this <laughs> plunk <laughs> yeah, let's just yeah, just cheat it right you know just just cheat it <laughs> to some extent that's what you gotta do <laughs> her nails feel really bland so i think i want to go through uh when I, when I do like a final surfacing pass, if I ever do a final surfacing pass, um, I'll have like, I don't know, maybe I'll do like French dip nails or something like that. I don't know. Um, let me see. <laughs> 3D printing, streaming, nomen, job, job, do you sleep? I do. <laughs> Uh, some nights more than others, some nights way less than, way less than healthy. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I what, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, that end, I try to try to be very active with my family, right? So I try to, you know, try to do activities. Like today we have a a work party that we're that we're going to and I'm really excited about uh, cuz I finally get to show my family around the Disney campus, you know? It's like it's 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 a super exciting thing to me. Um and my kids are excited too. It took a it took a minute for for uh for them to realize, "Oh, we're not going to Disneyland. We're going to Walt Disney." You know, we're going to the company. <laughs> so like they're not sure what to expect. 
Um, so it'll be really interesting to to kind of see. I'm sure I'm sure they'll like it. It's it's all it's all going to be set up, and it's going to be um, like they're going to be lighting up the campus tonight. And so I'm super super excited about that. It should be really really lovely. Um, but yeah, it should be a good time. <laughs> gonna kind of cozy out some of these points I need to make t-shirts for that cozy on out <laughs> t-shirts and stickers or something I don't know <laughs> cool okay so now that that leg feels really good that's looking nice I need to Let's make a cylinder to be able to block in whatever it is that she's holding. I, I don't know what that is yet. Oh, and her earrings. I want to get her earrings in place. That's on her face. It needs to be... Uh... Yeah, I'm heading out to the studio this uh, this evening for... Uh, let's turn off symmetry. Um, yeah, for the lighting, the lighting event. Um, super excited. Let's see, let's take, yeah, let's take all these. And then we'll kind of just rotate them out, um, kind of level by level. So that way we get um, a little bit more of like a dynamic flow on these, uh, on these earrings. Just a little bit of a, even if it's not quite, you know, <laughs> kosher to go through and <laughs> manually uh, tweak those. <laughs> um, let's go through, do the same thing here. Yeah, let's see, it's boom like that, boom like that. Bring this over, rotate it some. There you go. Now the earrings feel a bit more dynamic and like she's doing something, right? It's like. Whew. You could have gone, Leonard? That's interesting. Well, nice. <laughs> yeah, the RSVP um, already passed, so it's yeah, it's kind of a past thing. Oh, this is kind of let's turn off symmetry. Let's make sure that this is not going through her neck because that's not good. <laughs> That's cool though that they would let you that they would let you go. Is it, is it just like a like a nice nice perk for for retirees or because that's that's cool. I, I mean I uh, I know that they they <laughs> they require a blue badge. That's what they were saying. So, uh, but yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I think that's definitely a nice thing. I think that they do well to allow the, uh, you know, like, like, cause I think it's a, it's a perpetuation of the culture, you know, and, and, and people who were, uh, part of the company especially for people who are part of the company for such a long time um 
<laughs> and it's legit. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's funny, funny, funny. Let me see. I want this to kind of cup her a little bit on this side. I think that that'll help to kind of sell the motion just a little bit more. And you know what? I might even take... Let's do this. I'm going to say we'll pull up and in right here and then we'll pull down over here. And then we'll try to use <clears throat> try to use our edges in here to be able to create something of like a something of a fold come on okay something like that and then something like this is that working I feel like it's not quite working the way that I was hoping it would. <laughs> so it's just a matter of kind of pushing and pulling, um, getting this to feel more right or less unright. I don't know, it's however you wanna. trying as much as possible just to use the edge loops that I have. And it might be a matter, I might need to just go through and like smooth it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's a good warning. Thank you so much. Yeah, that'll be, <laughs> that'll be, um, Hey, Katri, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see that particular booth, Leonard, uh, causing a fair bit of heartache <laughs> if we're not careful. <laughs> oh, okay, so I don't want it to... It's funny though. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then I need to get like another another one kind of down here i want to delete delete lower because i feel like having this level of resolution for this shirt i think it's going to work for me it's going to work to my advantage It's always like a matter of going back and forth and kind of pushing and pulling and playing and just experimenting with whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. I feel like I kind of want to get a little bit more maybe indentation here. Cool. It could be worthwhile getting like a fold kind of going across the top of the chest too. Are you following the World Cup? Not very well. I mean, there there are some people at work that are super super into it, and I love I love soccer. 
Um, I love soccer. Like I grew up playing soccer. That was like that was that was my sport. That was the thing that I did most. Um, and I would go, um, I would go like just by myself to shoot at a net when I was a kid. Um, run around the field, shoot that ball at the net, and I'd do that for hours because uh, it's something I wanted to be really good at. And I, I got I got all right at it. I'm not I'm not amazing by any stretch of the imagination, but it was fun, you know. It was something that I that I super enjoyed. It was a great pastime. Um, it allowed me to be physically active. I did have some like crazy, uh, what's it called? Um, bunks the head. <laughs> like I've had some really bad concussions because of it, but it's uh, yeah, it's great. I love my sim football. Let's see if we can kind of pull this up. I want to try to get like a little bit of a slant to this. Uh... Oops. <clears throat> just kind of like smooth this out a little bit so that it falls into that crevice just some right um some of these folds i can go through and i can just kind of sculpt in and i think i will just like a little bit just something just to kind of help build the uh forms let's try to see what do we have so far as okay that's that's working out all right that's that's working okay something like that's feeling so much nicer now it's feeling so much more like cloth like it's feeling like a shirt that's kind of the idea right yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know, have things feel like what they're supposed to be. Since this side is lifted up so much more, let's just kind of like lift this uh, corner, get that nice kind of gesture going through there. We'll get kind of a kind of a curve. Let's get like a like a peak in that uh, in that lift here. And then we can kind of maybe have it so that it ripples a little. Not a ton. In fact, maybe it's just a matter of uh, making it so that it goes like it's like curve and then it goes into the straight and then it curves out into this. Get like a hard acceleration into the next curve. Let's go through, kind of smooth that out just a smidgen. Cozy on out. There we go. <clears throat> gotta fix this a little bit but yeah it's it's this is coming along this is coming along <laughs> yeah so i've decided to make every day as awesome as i can <laughs> um i've decided to go ahead and start um a subscription service on instagram it's not it's not expensive it's just a dollar you know figure i could go ahead and i can use that opportunity to to share like works in progress so that way it's like you know cool insight stuff for what it is i'm working on and then um and yeah and so like that way i don't have my work in progress kind of you know crowding my my regular feed um let me see zerchan what's up dude any advice on face expressions for stylized characters uh fake it till you make it <laughs> no um 
So my big advice for facial expressions, like for instance, I'll always work on the facial expression before I do the body pose because that allows me to work on the face in symmetry. <clears throat> and I try to do as much as I can in symmetry before I break the symmetry. So for instance, like getting this mouth shape to be just right, I went ahead and I got the kind of like that, kind of this, uh, this sh sort of shape first. Um, and then it was all symmetrical, right? So, you know, we get like this symmetry line. Um, and then I was able to take this side and just kind of like whoop, pull it up and whoop and pull it around, you know, so that way it makes it kind of interesting taking the nose and tweaking it off center, uh, being able to add a little bit more. Um, and granted, this is kind of out of the balance of where that screenshot is, but it's fine. Um, but being able to add like those little bits that are a little bit asymmetrical, you know, and, and that helps to, to really kind of push the feeling of, you know, character being more natural. Um, saving iterations is good. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I need to like put things into my old folder. <laughs> um, I'm going to put this into my old folder. see replace that um it's it's always handy to have reference i mean if you feel like you're going for a pose that you're not quite sure what you want to do um oh <clears throat> where do i have it there it is having some sort of mirror you know so that you can go through oh hey look you can see my screen do 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 um yeah, so having some sort of mirror so that you can like look at yourself and like make the different facial expressions and, and figure out kind of what's going on. Uh, keeping track of bony landmarks. Uh, so when I say bony landmarks, I think about like the brow. Your brow is not going to move around a whole lot. You're going to get brows kind of sliding up and down over that bone ridge, but you're not going to get any movement to the actual bone. Your cheekbones, uh, you're going to get a lot of movement of the flesh, like your cheek bone, your cheek uh, flesh itself but not the bone, right? So the bone's gonna stay pretty constant. It's gonna keep that shape. Um, so manipulating those in any way to get like a sense of motion, you gotta be really careful with it. Um, you also gotta think about the teeth, like the teeth and the jaw. Um, these are like nice, hard, bony landmarks and the, 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 the lips and the cheeks are going to form around them. Um, and so whenever you get like a, like a big smile, there's a lot of, these muscles and the cheeks kind of pulling back on the lips and that's what's creating the uh that's what's creating the what's it called the uh the sense of actual smile right um it's a really crazy little thing taking breaks <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> step away from it for a little bit and it's 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 a good thing it's good for your sanity <laughs> um i don't take breaks though I'm superhuman. I don't need to. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wish that was the case. It'd be so nice if I didn't have to take breaks and I could just, you know, keep in keep in a rhythm. And that's always one of the hardest things, though. Like when you're in a rhythm and you haven't taken a break, and you don't want to mess up your rhythm because it's like <laughs> it takes you a long time to get into that, right? Quick question, dynamic brushes, yes, dynamic brushes and ZBrush are marvelous designer for cloth. Um, uh, well, I mean, I don't use marvelous designer. I feel like, uh, I, mean, I, 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 uh, I started using it for, <laughs> you just stopped spinning the model. You're doing actual work then. Oh no, break time. Yeah, there we go. Need this spinning of the model. There it is. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so Marvelous Designer, it's a great tool, and I know a lot of people use it and get some really good stuff. Um, but it's not something that I've had to use since I worked on Hogwarts Legacy. I mean, we used it a little bit. We didn't really use it a ton. And it was something that was, you know, allowing us to get more realistic kind of cloth look um, for the game. But it wasn't something that we... Um, I don't think we... I mean, I know that I didn't use it for any final assets. Um, I think it's possible that you know some of some of my coworkers might have. But yeah, yeah. Z, the ZBrush cloth stuff is really it's pretty good, um, and it's it's something that you know it's it's good enough that I would never invest in. In. Um, designer marvelous designer um because of it you know it's like it, i already have the tools that i need inside of zbrush so it's it's just fine for me um but yeah i mean i i fully recognize too that it's you know, it's a matter of preference too, to some extent. Marvelous Designer does have a lot of cool things that it can do, like you know, like inflating, um, inflating geometry and things like that. You know, being able to create plushies, <laughs> being able to work from a sewing pattern, being able to, you know, all sorts of things go into uh, you know, go into go into that software and your software package of choice for whatever whatever it is you're trying to do right um yeah for me i i feel like most of everything that i have to do i can do inside of zbrush and so i i don't even worry about leaving zbrush 95 percent of the time um professionally I spend all day in ZBrush. Like I don't, I don't leave ZBrush unless I have to do UVs. Um, like for my job, I can handle doing all of my clothing, all of my props, all of my elements for my character inside of ZBrush. I don't have to leave it at all. So it's it's really really nice that way. That's better. That's so much better. Okay, let's let's get this uh, this other hand, this other arm going. In fact, I'm gonna kind of mess that out. Bring that, because I want to bring I want to bring this arm back a little bit further, just like a little bit, you know. And then I want to give a little bit of a bend to the elbow. So, so we're going to uh, we're gonna play with that some. Cause I, I feel like that'll help it to feel a little bit more dynamic of a of an arm pose is to have it a little bit of like a maybe like turning it down some or something I don't know oh shoot look at that <laughs> dang it <laughs> It's like right when you think you've got something. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix that, uh, fix the way that, that elbow looks, but it's not too bad. And then I think what I want to do is I want to t twist this hand so that it feels like it's, uh, <laughs> what's wrong with UV Master and ZBrush? It's not perfect. Um, you can get some good things, some workable things using Z UV Master and ZBrush. And in fact, I have a little tutorial on, <clears throat> um, on ArtStation. I'm pretty sure it's on ArtStation. Um... Coming over here and check this out. And see if it's see if I'm lying to you or not. Um, maybe I don't have it on here. 
Where do I have it at? It looks like they've got a big sale going on, so that's nice. <laughs> they never tell me when the sales are actually happening. <laughs> so I just kind of like let it run its course. Um, yeah, I am hoping to print it. So that'll be, that'll be fun. Um, let me see. In fact, I wonder if I have it on my YouTube. It might be on the YouTube. Jedi Survivor. Oh, hey, look. I recognize that booty. <laughs> Your channel, videos. I think I might have I might have actually put it up here. Yep, UVs and ZBrush. So, I mean, I do have a technique for being able to create UVs and to be able to clean them up. And you can do stuff inside a ZBrush. It's just, <clears throat> it's not, uh, it's not as reliable because uh, it's, it's not, you know, it's not a, it's not a, it's not really a production ready tool. Oh, I haven't liked my own tool. I know, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you're interested in seeing kind of like my UV workflow for like specifically for ZBrush, uh, you can check that out. It's it's nice because you can you can treat your UVs like geometry, and you can use all your Z modeler tools. You can use all your masking. You can use all those sorts of things. Um, it gets to be really nice. It's it is a little bit of uh, it is a little bit of work, but you know it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> yeah, kind of fun. Let's go ahead and pause it so it's not still going <laughs> while I'm trying to do stuff. Um, all right, let's let's go ahead real quick. Let's fix this uh, fix this elbow transition here. It's not too shabby, so we don't have to do too much. I'm just going to smooth out here on the back, and then on the front, yeah, let's 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 try smoothing just a little bit, just to see kind of what it is we get here. There might be some uh, some tweaking that I have to do, but it's yeah, it's not too bad. It's kind of just tweak some of these uh points here in the in the actual crux of the elbow there want to have like a nice simple transition from lower arm to upper arm or i guess forearm to upper arm you know however you want to however you want to stage that <laughs> it's english so many options <laughs> kind of tweak with that shape just a little bit okay one of the things that I want to do is I want to kind of simplify this uh, this form this shape right here the silhouette um, so I'm just going to kind of give it like a little bit of like a just like simplifying that curve a little bit um, <clears throat> and in fact maybe what I ought to do since I want to go ahead and twist this anyway it might be worthwhile to go ahead and say let's just kind of Mask that out, mask that, oh, shoot. Give it a nice mask. And then we'll go ahead and we will center it. And then we'll kind of twist it. So this way we get a nice, a nice twist to the anatomy, like what would happen normally because you got that radius and ulna, right, in your arm. Um, let me see, what is your retapo technique? Are you using Z spheres or Z remesher? Mostly Z remesher, not, sorry, not Z remesher, Z modeler. Um, <clears throat> Z modeler, topology brush. Like I'll start it out with a topology brush and I'll draw out my topology and then I'll go ahead and I'll commit it and then I'll use my uh, Z modeler brush to go ahead and finish out my topology. Um, I do that for most everything that I do. Um, let me see. Okay, so right now we've got our hand kind of in position. I think what I need to do, let's, let's add in, oh, let, we need to do that too. It's like, there's so much, so much. <laughs> yeah, 
let's go ahead and like grab this. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit further. Just so that it just so that we can feel a little bit more of that energy. I like having the sense of like flat versus or straight versus a curve. So I'm going to try to like emphasize that. Uh, so this will this will help to feel like the muscles on the back of the arm. Because what's happening is like when you're when you're when you have that hand in that position, you're kind of swinging something. The muscles on the back of the forearm are going to be um, are going to be flexing, and so so those are kind of going back. And then these muscles here on the front on the forearm are going to be kind of stretched out. So you're not going to get a whole lot of definition there. It's all going to be kind of stretched back, and you're going to get more of that curve on the back of the forearm. So that's kind of what we're getting right here. Um, I do feel like I'm losing a little bit of form in here though. So I'm just gonna try to tweak things just a little bit. <laughs> Thanks for Sean. <laughs> I love hands, but it's, it's such a hard thing to work with. Um, Okay, let's get let's get something in here to block her hand in with <clears throat> so that way we're not just kind of making things up. I mean the other thing that we could do is we could just give her a fist. That could be cool. Um oh, that could be cool. Let's save this. And maybe it's one of those things where it's like I go through and I do both, where it's like <laughs> I'm going to do both. Shoot, why do I talk myself into these things? <laughs> Fists are so hard. <laughs> Let's say body fist. Okay. Um, and then... Control Shift D. Uh, body. I'll say body sword, <laughs> just for the sake of having it. Um, I'm gonna undo from here. Okay, so I won't undo. It looks like I'm running into issues of stuff. <laughs> okay, just trying to rotate this around. So a lot of what we're gonna to have to try to do is I'm going to want to try to make like a like a bit more of a square transition for this uh, for this wrist where it's bent. Oh, this is gonna be fun, but this is gonna be so much work. But I think this is gonna look good. This is gonna look like so good. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit much. Okay. Let's kind of smooth this out just a little bit so we get a little bit nicer of a transition there. In fact, that needs to go in a little bit. Boom, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Just a little bit. Something like that. Never heard about Retapo as Z modeler. <gasps> yeah. 
I do. Also, like, you know, still, like, here within my, um, within my art station, there's, I've got this whole course that talks about, like, making the character from beginning to end. Um, I even have, like, examples where I'm making a hoodie for her because I feel like it's important to, to show off techniques for clothing. Um, so, yeah, I have that. Uh, I also have this hard surface one, which is, you know, uh, much... <laughs> much less pricey but it's a uh, it's a really nice you know between the two of these lots of different uh lots of different ways to go about creating geometry um yeah at the end of this one it ends in fact i don't know if you guys can i'll bring her over so i can show you <clears throat> i i i go through the whole process of like you know identifying the concept uh breaking it down and then being able to figure out kind of, uh, you know, blocking it out so that it matches the concept and then creating a full 3D model um, through retopology and uh, yeah, UVs, everything. Uh, so it's a combo of ZBrush and Maya, but then I end up with a 3D printed model. Um, her over here okay let me go ahead and switch to the webcam view so you can see there's there's our lovely lady right there <laughs> um she's huge i mean she's you can see like you know there's my hands on her head um in fact leonard who's in the in the chat helped me print out the uh the hair um, he did a ton of work with it and it turned out gorgeous. It was amazing. Um, but yeah, um, I fully sculpted her inside a ZBrush and then, yeah, she's, she's fully 3d printed. I took pictures of her at the beach. <laughs> I have, uh, I have pictures on my art station. The weight distribution is insane. So I have, here, let me, let me pull off her head cause yeah, it's heavy. So the hair is actually hollow. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but it is hollow. You can see there's there's the hole right there, which actually en um, works in a couple different ways. That hole ends up being a place where the uh, the pin can go into. So that I have like these steel pin steel pins. Uh, this one runs through her neck down into her body. Um, her body is solid. Um, it was you know, I, I printed it hollow, but then I filled it with uh, filled it with resin so that it would be strong enough to support the weight <laughs> of the head and the hair. Um, and then let's see, if we can get her off here, nice and easy. Um, oh no, it looks like I'm getting some rust. I'm gonna have to do some stuff to fix that because. I can't be having that. Um, yeah, and then here on the base, I've got this steel pin also going up. So yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh, you know why? Because uh, what happened is when I went to take pictures of her at the beach, uh, she fell in the water. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably just residual yuck from all that. Um, but yeah, I mean, super cool. <laughs> and she just slides back on. Yeah, thought about going through and developing a uh, different hairstyle, like a like an updo for her at some point. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I that's how I manage the weight distribution and everything. Absolutely crazy. It's it's easily the most uh um what's the word? Ambitious. Uh, the most ambitious print I've made. Um because yeah, I mean, you go, 
printing it's it's crazy it's a crazy hobby but i love it so much <laughs> it's so so neat okay let's go ahead let's jump back to the zbrush live all right but yeah so that's something that i'll have to do is i'll have to go through and i'll have to clean off those pins and then it would have been a lot more work to get rid of the layer lines. I'm sure you're right. Um, unless it was done with like an ABS and then you could have, we could have used like a, like a, an acetone bath to, to, you know, smooth all that out and becomes, then it becomes super glossy, but then, you know, like a, like a once over with some sand and could like rough it up nicely. I don't know. There's a, there's a lot. <laughs> You know what? That's a little bit too much of. Because one of the one of the things that I'm trying to teach my kids is that like when you punch, <laughs> you got to keep your wrist straight. Um, so right now she does not have a straight wrist. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and let's work with that a little bit. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I need to teach myself to keep a straight wrist. <laughs> um, okay. So now we've got this flat hand. Let's go ahead and start curling these fingers. I did paint it myself. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I tried to keep it as simple as possible. The body of the mermaid um, was actually printed with a skin tone colored resin. Um, yeah, I mean, it, the color didn't turn out quite right, but you know, it still looks, it still looks nice. So it's fine. Um, yes, yeah, like with the color kit from form labs, it was awesome. It was such a cool, uh, uh, such a cool, <laughs> it's just, it's such a cool, that's, that's what it is. It's just such a cool. What? Let's go ahead and grab this. Just gonna kind of fix that, uh, fix that ridge right there. Kind of slide this up some. Slide the other part. Here, let me see. Control A. That way we have the the pff, that way we have the uh, the edge the border of that connection masked so I can just kind of move these points down. This is the exact same technique that I use for the uh, the elbow and everything like that, right? I'm going to grab this. Let's kind of pull this in so that this is better able to connect with the finger here. Okay, we'll pull this back. Actually, I don't want to mask that whole thing. I do want to mask the rest of it though. Let's do something like that. Kind of pull this in. I'm not going to do this level of of uh, you know take this level of care with every finger, but I I will do it with the index finger and with the pinky finger. And the reason why is that those are the only ones that I'll actually see. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's, it's just kind of a, a matter of picking your battles, right? Let's kind of smooth that out some, oops. Okay. Let's grab this. 
kind of rotate it. And then I'm going to mask out the rest of the finger up top. So that way it's just a little bit cleaner. Same thing down here. Oh, you know what? Let's let's come over to this side. You know, that's actually looking pretty good. That's 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 mend bending pretty nicely, and that's getting us a nice form in there. So I'm going to call that good. Um, let me see. <clears throat> so one of the things we got to do is we got to get like the build up of the finger in here. Okay, let's go ahead and take that. Kind of make it so that it swells up some so that it feels like we're getting that preservation of mass. Same thing with this little bit of the finger here. Got to get this to kind of swell up and fill in that gap. Got to mask that out so that this is not bothering us here. We're just going to kind of fill in around here like this. Smooth it out, inflate it. That feels pretty good. Okay, that feels like that feels like a finger, <laughs> a finger that's ready for a fist. Now we just got to do it three other times. <laughs> I need to start printing in colors. It make my life a little easier for painting. <laughs> yeah, it made my life so much easier on that mermaid. Um. The side view looks rude. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it really does. We need to get those fingers worked out. Um, yeah, I totally, I totally agree. Let's get this. Uh... <laughs> I get it. Yeah, no, I, I totally get it. My mom used to be uh, an interpreter for the deaf, and so yeah, it's uh, it definitely looks rude. <laughs> I get exactly where you're going and where you're coming from. Interesting. Let's make sure that this is getting the right shapes. Because this is not quite right. Oops. Not inflate, please. Let's see something like that. It's a, it's always just kind of like a like a give and take, and like a go back and fix, and then like a. <laughs> It looks a lot less rude now. <laughs> so I heard from a friend who uh, who went to go see the um, like a pre-screening of the new Avatar movie that it's supposed to be really really good. Um, like it totally lives up to the hype of the first one and, and all of that. I got to see a, a bit of a preview of it from uh, like a town hall meeting from work. Um, and it's it looks gorgeous. I mean, I, I don't know what to expect from it from. Um, let's do this. Um, but I mean, I, I liked the first one. I thought it was a really great film. I thought it was fun and 
so I'm excited to see kind of what it is that Mr. Cameron did with it, um, with its sequel. <laughs> yeah, well, let's kind of get rid of some of that there. Kind of curl that down. There we go. There we go. The uh, <laughs> the the finger ends here. Um, I'm probably going to want to work out. I mean, you're not going to see those. It's not going to. It's not going to matter a whole lot, because like all this uh, flesh on the bottom of the hand is going to end up being flexed. So it's it's going to be different. But you know, whatever. My friend is a teacher for the deaf. Her kids all know sign language. Uh, when mom starts to sign from across the room, they know they're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, so once I once I get everything kind of in place, it'll be a little bit easier for me to to figure out kind of the uh you know, what needs tweaking and whatnot. Um so far this is this is turning out all right. Um, but there will be a lot of a lot of things that I'll have to fix, um, so far as forms and shapes, and uh, and relationships with these different fingers and whatnot. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of pull that down. Oh my goodness, I should probably like stand up for a minute or something. Bless you. He doesn't ever say thank you. Just like he just, he just sneezes. He's just like, I just gotta expel that snot, you know? <laughs> oh, snot. Okay, let me see, let's grab this bit of the finger and just pull it down. Not too shabby. Yeah, there'll be a lot of things that I'll have to change. So like right now it's like it's too round on the back of the hand. Um, so a lot of things that'll, that'll, that I'll fix will be like making that more planar. Um, to help it feel more strong as a as a fist, okay. So that'll be a fun bit. Um, just kind of getting like some graphic shapes in here, but like simplifying them so that they feel strong and clean. Okay, something like that's kind of working for me now. Okay, so now the pinky is going to be the other one that we're going to want to, well, I guess technically we want to finish out this finger, but you know, we're getting there. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit better. Let's go ahead and get that pulled into, into position. Pancakes sound good right now. I should do some pancakes. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Do you always sculpt detail after posing? Because I guess when it's finally detailed, posing can cause a mess for those details. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, Olivier, uh, the thing that I, that I look at a lot of times I mean, if I'm if I'm sculpting for like my own personal 
Um, hey, Lucas. Uh, if I'm sculpting for my own personal sort of maquette or like a like a pose character for for whatever reason, um, I will usually save any kind of detailing for after I pose because what's happening is that the pose is going to, I'll say, inspire different wrinkles, different folds, different. Uh... I actually got to reply to a buddy real quick. four to eight all right <clears throat> um yeah so so like for instance uh clothing will always be affected by the pose um and so i i try to wait until the character is posed to do um all my different clothing folds and things like what like what we have let's see let's make sure that our clothing's turned on so that we can see it um things like the the folds kind of coming in her shirt um i should have waited to do the zipper until after it was posed because i mean you can see that because i had done it before it was posed we're getting some warping with each of these teeth um i mean i can go through and kind of fix it maybe <laughs> but it's so hard um it's so hard there's because there's just so much um one thing that i can do just use like a few at a time grab my transpose line and then just kind of warp it back okay you see that's that fixes it a little bit <laughs> That's nasty. That's so bad. <laughs> you can see, like, I mean, that, that this is fixing it. And it's just by doing kind of the opposite of whatever we did to it in the first place to be able to get it to be posed. Um, my gosh. Yeah, so you can see, like, these teeth look so much better than the rest of them. Uh, so maybe what I do is I'll go ahead and I'll say control W just to make sure that that's, you know, kind of showing that that's fixed. That's been fixed. So I can work on things in sections. Uh, with these other bits, maybe I can go over here and say, let's grab these, control shift A, control W. That way I can just fix things in sections. Um, here, let's go through like this. so terrible how things get so warped during the during the pose phase but it's like you, you can only care so much like you, you can't just <laughs> you can't just uh make your whole life about controlling every aspect and making it so that everything's perfect because it's not going to be <laughs> Yeah, then it becomes a matter of taking it and kind of making it match up, and then it becomes a mess. Let's see, does it at least feel like it kind of matches up? A little bit. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to do to make things work and to feel right. It might just be worth going through and making a whole new zipper. It's It doesn't take a whole lot of time. <laughs> so maybe I'll just do that. <laughs> um, this side doesn't look bad. I don't think this side got edited at all. So it'd just be a matter of doing this one side anyway. Here, let me go ahead. Let's say, let's hide that other side. We'll say delete hidden and then What's going on with this jacket? Okay, so it's just a it's just a crease. I just had to make sure that I understood 
what was going on with it. Let's come down to, actually I might need to get into my, uh, for anybody who is not aware, there is, oh here it is, zipper metal. Which one did I use? I think I used the zipper metal. Nope, I used the uh, zipper plastic. Uh, and the reason I know is because you gotta look at the tag, but you also gotta look at the teeth. The the metal had like the had like the the little rectangular ones, the little rectangular teeth. Let me see. Wait, are we going? Are we getting heavy? Oh, I guess you're up in the valley, but. Are we going to get heavy rain sometime soon, Leonard? I guess Leonard's probably gone now. He has to go decorate a tree. <laughs> he was showing me pictures of of uh, his house and how it was uh, looking nice and everything with all the all the lights. Uh, it's pretty exciting. It'd be nice to have that sort of uh, <laughs> capability. <laughs> Let me see, is this the one that I want? Uh, yeah, it looks like that'll be right. It might be the wrong size. Oops. Oh no, it was the right direction. I, I was I was right the first time. Um Oh, you know what? Before we fix that, let's go in here, let's fix this, because this is kind of a mess. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just kind of tidying it up a little. It's not going to be too bad. I mean, it's just, it's it's been super torn apart because of posing, but I'm not going to worry too much. Woof! Look at that. Wow. Yeah, like a lot of these pieces don't have UVs, and so it's you know, like anything that's not the body. So like the eyes have UVs, the body has UVs, the teeth and mouth parts have UVs. Um, everything else is just, it just is, I guess, you know, um, let's go ahead and grab that zipper brush. Let's turn off symmetry on the piece there. Was I, was I right? It was, it's up, right? Other way around, it looks like. Oh wow, that got messed up. Zip it up. That's completely the opposite direction of what I'd like. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's go, uh, not there, uh, curve, let's go ahead. It says snap, so we should be all right. So uh, to be able to do this sort of stuff, I'm, I'm like, I have my, like I've grabbed onto the curve and then I just hold shift and that allows me to kind of smooth out the curve. Um, really nice. Okay, what I, what, the other thing I want to do is I'm just going to make my the blue part of that brush as big as it can go. I'm going to grab onto it and I'm going to hold control and let it, you know, turn around so I can turn the meshes. Those look like they're too small now. Let's just kind of like bump it up a couple notches here. That looks pretty good. Is it too big? Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's go through. We'll take it back down just one. What's what's the what's the number we're at? Our draw size. 
just make it like a flat even 10. That works. I will accept that. So now I'm going to use my move brush and let's just put it into place because there are just a just like slight placement issues here. So let's just kind of make sure that it's more in its place. Um, since we're not going to be doing major um, transpose line warping and things like that, I'm not worried too much about the uh, the shape getting too distorted. Um, one thing that I do want to be careful of, though, and I'll I'll kind of bring the other piece into it, um, is like I'll I'll come over to the vest and kind of modify the vest to fit to fit the uh yeah to fit the uh the zipper okay so we're going to pull this over pull this over really trying to just put this into place to make this feel like that uh, that line where the uh, zipper is based off of. And I kind of feel like I want to make the inside a little bit puffier. Like I feel like that would just work well for the style of vest, like making it feel like overall the vest is just kind of puffy. You know, poof. <clears throat> Come over here, deformation, we'll say inflate, wherever it is. There we go. Boom. And we'll just kind of smooth it out a little bit just to make sure that it's not too much. Look at that. That is starting to feel so much nicer. <laughs> oh, I should have, I should have kept the uh, the zippers add a little bit bigger. Here we're going to go back to there. Let's grab the zipper again. We were at ten. We need to be down kind of closer to that. Let's say eleven. Just try it out. It's like I'm looking at the size comparison now and I'm just like, ah, it's not quite right. <laughs> See, it's turn off perspective. We can kind of compare sizes a little bit better. Okay, so we have our draw size of 11. Let's try 12. Not 129, it's about 10 times the size I need it to be. That's looking much better. Thirteen. Oh, I haven't committed it yet. <laughs> That's a little bit big. So let's let's say let's try twelve point five. See if that that'll work. I like that. Okay, we'll call that good. <laughs> okay, we'll replace this. Yeah, I love IMM brushes. Uh, IMM brushes, uh, curve brushes, uh, these sorts of things are super, super helpful for uh, for production, for everything. Um, yeah, anybody who's followed my online store or my streams for any period of time <laughs> will see you know how often I use and how often I make. Uh, IMM brushes like all my hair brushes like those are things that I've gone through and made because of uh, because of production needs you know things that I've I've needed that I haven't been able to find quite what I wanted um, so I, I go through and I make it you know it's uh, it's it's a uh, it's part of what I feel like makes me efficient at what it is that I do you know 
So anyway, there we go. That looks so much nicer. We got. We still have to finish that hand. And I feel like I still want to. <laughs> now she's doing like hang loose, like yeah. <laughs> Um, I feel like I still want to do a version of her hand, like holding a bat or or something like that. Um, which means that I mean it could be cool to do. Uh, maybe like some sort of tear in her shirt, or you know, in you know, like a like ruffled edges on her shorts or something. I don't know. It it, it could be an interesting thing to explore. Go ahead and grab this. Kind of rotate it down just a little bit more. And boom. Let's wait for autosave to finish doing its thing. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Um, let's go back. Let's see. Lucas, uh, anyone smart want to tell me why he has multicolor base mesh. I picked up this program this week for school, but I am super lost in all of it. Like super, super lost. Yeah, those are poly groups. Uh, these these different colors that, that you're looking at, amazing. This is one of this is one of the uh, yeah, so it's a different way to be able to make different selections of, of different parts of your mesh. And it's one of the most useful uh, tools inside of ZBrush. Between between polygroups and masking, um, those are going to be like the most important tools uh, to focus on and learn getting into ZBrush. Um, and everybody's going to use them, you know, slightly differently. And that's fine. But yeah, it's oh, like I I can't I just I just. I can't imagine life without polygroups and masking. <laughs> let's go ahead and unmask some of that. Actually, let's go ahead and let's mask this. And now let's go ahead and unmask the top. Okay. Oops. Go ahead and make sure everything's masked except for that thumb, because if it if it's not, then I'll get all sorts of weird artifacts. Funny story, funny funny story. Okay, so when I was working on uh, this hand's pose, um, <laughs> I didn't realize that my polygroups were the same from this hand to this hand. I thought I had already taken the symmetry of the polygroups out, but I still had this finger, this 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 pinky finger is the same as this pinky finger and this ring finger, this finger. So as I was going through and posing, like I had gotten this hand to a, a point where I was like, I like that, that looks good. Uh, in fact, I I think I had finished the hand and I'd be like, that was great. And then I zoom out and this the, all the fingers from this hand are like zoomed off in different directions. <laughs> and it looked terrible because I was, I was working asymmetrically, uh, working with this finger, kind of posing it and since the pivot point for the for the rotation was up here this finger was shooting off into space and it was rotating around that pivot point um really crazy really really crazy um so yeah i actually ended up going through and uh adding in an entirely new hand <laughs> to be able to start over from nil um because that's it was it was insane i was i was like no <laughs> uh that one i think i did possibly just in my spare time you know like as as part of class prep um trying to get things ready to show in demos at at uh, at nomen and things like that um Yeah, lots lots going on, so it's like got to find whatever time you can. Okay. We're getting really close on this. Thumb's kind of tricky cuz it's like 
and it's like I, I always try to go through and make a fist and figure out kind of how the shapes are supposed to work and etc so like I'm trying to figure out uh, where my straights need to be where my curves need to be so I'll get some like a straighter sort of edge in here and that'll help it to feel a little stronger a little bit more dynamic get this to kind of shape out some Uh, that needs to be a little bit more streamlined. Okay, that's a little bit nicer. Oh, you know what, let's go ahead and pull that down a little bit just to kind of flatten out this uh, this line here a little bit better. It's a huge balancing act, like going back and forth and making sure that things are working <laughs> the way that they need to be. Yeah, let's go ahead and kind of line that up with the thumb a little bit better, kind of rotate it. That should be about right. Maybe, if I'm lucky. Okay, and then we'll grab, oh, the rest of that thumb. Put into its place here, 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 and here. Okay. Kind of look at it from between the legs, I guess. Makes it a little bit easier to see. <laughs> Just got to try to find whatever angles you can to be able to to see what you're seeing. Just kind of pull this out, something. Oh, you like that? Yeah, so it's it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's ZBrush is definitely like a trip to learn because it, it's so different from everything else um, I mean like I mean I've been using it for like over a decade now <laughs> um, and I'm still running into things that I that I learn and it's it's absolutely insane but oh shoot that's not what I wanted shoot 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 all right Kind of smooth out that transition just a little bit. I want to try to control the thumb a little bit better. Um, you know what? We can just look at just the thumb. Control one. Let's. Uh, I went ahead and set control one to solo. Makes it really nice and easy. Oh boy, let's see. I'm gonna use inflate here. And kind of build it up. All right, let's bring everything back. Ah. Bring everything back. <laughs> okay, let's get this pinky in place. And then I think what we'll be able to do, yeah, let's go ahead and instead of 
selecting it like that. We'll just select it like that so that we get a little bit of like a soften mask. Go ahead and kind of rotate it a little bit differently so that it's not quite butting into the uh, rest of the finger as much. Get this sort of thing yeah masking techniques easily 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 like my top top two or three things for zbrush um uh yeah so like a lot of what i try to do this is not quite perfect but this is this is pretty close um oh shoot move brush please <clears throat> um in fact, let's go back to the inflate. We'll just kind of inflate that together a little bit. Smooth it, inflate, smooth inflate. Okay. Okay, it's coming along. It's getting, it's, it's like a really, really good start. It's just not quite there yet. So what I'm going to do is we're going to grab, shoot. Grab these fingers, and we're going to I'm going to grab like this little bit of the hand too. Maybe not on the top. Let's just let's just let's just kind of keep the uh, keep the top out of this as much as possible, right? Um, I'm going to say Control A. Let's invert that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my gizmo. Let's just kind of rotate the, the fingers in just a little bit and give them a little bit more of a placement. Is it going to be perfectly consistent with the rest of the, with the other hand? No. Um, is it going to look like a fist? Oh yeah. <laughs> So now it's just a matter of making adjustments, tweaking things to, to feel like they're working. I do need to get, let me see. Stop, stop rotating, stop rotating. Don't rotate my camera. Gotta get this kind of, to create like more of a plane going across the fingers. So this is gonna take a little bit of work, but it's, you know, it's gonna work out. What is your job exactly? Um, are you just doing ZBrush stuff? Do you do baking process? I So this is just hobby. This is just me doing stuff for fun. Um, the live streamers here as part of ZBrush Live, um, it's, it's not their job. Uh, this is something that we do pro bono <laughs> because we... Uh, you know, because we, we love the software. We love getting time to do uh, fun stuff outside of work. Um, that sort of stuff. And so this is all just stuff that we do for fun, uh, for the sake of sharing our knowledge and, you know, networking and all sorts of things. It's, it's a ton of work, obviously, because it's still what we do for our profession as well, most of us. Um, you know, for instance, I'm a lead character artist at Marvel Animation. Um, I, I do this all day, every day. Uh, for work and I do it you know in my spare time too whenever I get spare time uh, streaming is just an opportunity for me to be able to uh, to be able to to share and to be part of a community because um, otherwise I don't get a whole lot of time to see friends and to have fun and to do all those all those other things that normal people do um, Just kind of smooth that out. That's starting to feel really cool. Oh, that's starting to feel really cool. Yeah, so a lot of what's going on in here, I still need to tweak. Still need to tweak this, getting this to feel like it's more, I'll say squashed. 
it's like there's more compression with the fingers and then I also need to make it feel like there's more meat kind of being forced up with this uh, with this bit of the hand here. Um, but yeah, so so that's that's a little bit about me. So yeah, I do I do I do this all day long at Marvel, um, and then I you know take my Saturday mornings to do it as well. <laughs> um, normally, what I've started doing lately, anyway is streaming on my own stream after I'm done streaming for Pixelogic. Um, but today, I think I'm going to not stream on my own stream. Um, it's already 10.30. I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. No, I don't think I will. Okay, that's looking pretty tight. Let me see, you gotta, you gotta shift this around a little bit because it, it doesn't feel quite right up over in here. This feels a little bit too rounded, so let's, let's kind of like flatten that out some. And then it feels like this is coming, like the, the, the index finger might be coming a little bit too proud of, you know what, this needs to come out a little bit further, I think. This needs to come down. It's like with, with a fist, fists are so interesting to me because it's like the, the hand kind of, it's almost like the hand swallowing itself. It's it's such a bizarre. I'll say gesture. Um, it's really quite incredible how the anatomy works together. Let's go ahead and kind of pull this in, pull this in, pull this in. So that way we get more of that uh, more of that pinky flavor. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's kind of what I do. So I work on my at, at Marvel. I do stuff for the shows, uh, characters, and I uh, I help make sure that you know quality across the characters is up upheld. Um, you know, I perform fixes on <clears throat> characters that come in from vendor studios. I um, I help quality with uh, with our internal characters and then I do a whole bunch of the main characters for our for our uh, for our show that we're working on um, hasn't been announced yet hopefully it gets announced at some point <laughs> some point soon That feels better. It's just like I said, it's like back and forth and going, <laughs> going in all the different directions to try to figure out what it is that you're wanting to get out of it. That feels so much better though. So now we've got a fist and we've got an open hand. Yeah, it feels like that knuckle that first knuckle needs to be brought out quite a bit more though here we go so hard sometimes to get around <laughs> other parts of the mesh so you can see what in the world you're working on. Here, I'm just going to take this and kind of twist it a little bit so that it's not penetrating the knuckles so much. But yeah. Do you have tips for portfolio and character? I just finished my one year class and uh, I try to find a job and props for character. Um, that's a clean fit. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> New emote for this channel? Maybe. 
I don't know. We should we should we should make it into an emote maybe. That could be cool. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is stuff that I need to go through and kinda kinda smooth and relax and And sculpt. You get like a little bit more of a like a knuckle on there, right? That's a little bit too much. That shape isn't quite right either. And that's that's too much. Sometimes you give, sometimes you gotta take. <laughs> That's feeling so much better. That's that's much much better. Um, yeah. So so tips to be able to get into character and props. Props is a little bit easier because like studios tend to get really really finicky and really really picky with their uh, with their characters, especially if you're wanting to get into like the main characters. Um, they get to be insanely picky about what it is that they want to see and what it is they want to have happen. Um, so the big thing that you need to do, you need to understand, like, people are going to say all the time, like, it's not a competition, there's plenty of work. And it's like, yeah, there's plenty of work, but if you want the work that you, you know, if, you, if you're if you shooting for a specific job, uh, you're not going to be able to get a specific job if you're not suited for the job. So you you have to understand that it is it is to some level a competition. Um, that's not to say that it needs to be cutthroat. That you need to be like, oh, I have to beat everyone out. It's you have to be friend people. You have to uh, uh, you have to understand that networking is a huge, huge part of getting the job that you want, and um, and uh, and you know that in addition to your skills, you know, and, and giving it time and being patient with yourself and and kind of being able to compare your work with. Yeah, that knock well might be a little bit too much. I think you're right. Let's kind of smooth it out some. Oh, but now it's too round. Oh, it's so tricky. Gosh. Why do I even do this? This is so hard. <laughs> Patient with yourself. Um, but yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot of patience, a lot of time. Because uh, that's like, for instance, uh, for me to be able to work on portfolio stuff, um, yeah, my work work is going to end up being portfolio stuff at some point. Um, but I have such a long time, like I've got a couple of years to wait before I can put stuff from work into my portfolio. Um, just because of non-disclosure. You know, you, you can't go sharing work from a studio <laughs> if you sign a non-disclosure agreement, uh, which essentially says that, uh, you know, you're going to help help them keep their secrets while you're uh, under that contract, you know, and it's crazy, but we do it. <laughs> We do it. Okay, I'm gonna call that good enough. Oh, let's 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 kind of work on on fixing like we were talking about before, fixing some of our straights versus curves. Um, get some of these forms to work nicely together. I don't particularly like the way that that's working right there. Yeah, let's get let's get some more of like a like an indentation here. 
crease. And then we'll take this part of the thumb, just kind of increase that, pull this out. Lots of give and take, right? Lots of give and take. I kind of want this this uh, this transition to be a little bit sharper. So we're just going to kind of pull that out just a little bit. That gives us a nicer, nicer shape for that fist. Um, but yeah, I'd say uh, also another thing is to pick projects. You know, pick uh, pick things that you want to see in your portfolio, things that you feel like you can dedicate your time to and do really well with. Um, pick pick projects that are going to showcase a variety of uh, skills you know so that you can handle hard surface modeling you can handle uh, clean topology you have animation ready topology you have you know all these sorts of little little bits that you have to consider um, in in creating shoot why did that happen um, well I actually know why it happens because I clicked on the rear end to change my camera view instead of clicking on the fist but you know anyway whatever um, but yeah being able to look at the kind of work that you want to do and making a portfolio based on that um, that's always going to be super super helpful um, because like for instance if I don't want to be <laughs> I had a job one time I had a job one time. Let's get into story time. Um, so I had a job one time where I did furniture models for Crate and Barrel. Um, and it was to be used in augmented reality so that they could showcase their furniture in your space. Um, really cool tech, really interesting project. It's just not something that I care to have in my portfolio because I don't want to be modeling furniture. Jace, how you doing? <laughs> that is, yeah, it's, um, welcome, welcome. <laughs> um, there we go. I think that that's good. I'm going to call that good. That's a, that's a pretty decent looking fist. And it didn't take us too, too long. I mean, it took us like, forever and a half but I mean I thought it was going to take us at least two or three forever so you know that's not too bad um, again just kind of tweaking like some of these uh, straights versus curves um, yeah so if you're wanting to do it's okay okay here's an interesting an interesting point let's say this because this is this is worth mentioning um, at the beginning, people talk about paying your dues. Okay, I I feel like it's worth mentioning. It's worth um, noting that you're probably going to be paying dues for a little while. What that means and what that looks like is kind of up to you. Okay, so in the instance that um, I had... <clears throat> Um, you know, my goal became fairly early on to be a character modeler. Um, I was super inspired by people like, like Carlos Ortega Elizalde. Uh, he's one of my absolute favorites. He is super inspiring to me. I love his consistency. I love the appeal in his work. It's amazing. It's incredible. I love it. Um, the, so, you know, I, I tried you know, I try emulating his, uh, his work ethic, his quality level, his, you know, those sorts of things, uh, early on. Now my, my portfolio early on, um, I didn't have professional work in my, in my portfolio. So it was, it was full of a whole bunch of, uh, personal projects, uh, maybe some freelance stuff. That looks good. Got to save. If I don't save, it'll crash and it'll kill me. Um, and so you know, let me see if I can, if I can kind of 
oh, I want to change kind of the way that this arm flows. That doesn't feel very, okay, 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 okay. Here's what we're going to do. Because it doesn't feel very clean. So I'm just going to grab this, kind of rotate it down. It's like I'm just I'm just trying to get like a like a nicer shape on that. There we go. That feels better. It's all the little things. Um, wow, that's fun. That is so much fun. Okay, so so early on, <clears throat> you're not going to have your pro your professional projects at all to be able to showcase. So a lot of what you're going to want to do is you could do collaborations. You know, using somebody else's concept to be able to um, to be able to um, showcase work. In fact, let me let me show you some stuff. Maybe I've got some. I mean, this uh, this mermaid's a good example of a piece that I did to be able to. Let's go into character, just because since we're talking about characters. Um, the Mermaid Queen. Do I have? Oh, I thought I had Mikey's uh, concept. Maybe I don't. Um, but I mean, you can see kind of the way that. Let me let me let me grab. Let's duplicate this out. Let's come over to. I'm pretty sure I have a link to the concept over here. There we go. So yeah, here's here's the uh, here's the original concept that I used, and when I when I modeled her out, when I blocked her out, I I I lined her up with this concept exactly. There are a couple of things I went through and finessed, like her hands. Uh, her hands were shortcut with the with the concept, so I went ahead and I I created. Uh, some you know some nicer hands um, you know some hands that that feel more finessed and refined um, there are some things like if I look at do I have the side view do I have like a view of just the side view here let's see if we can here, let's pause it see if it'll let me Kind of step through it. There we go. Okay, so so there's there's kind of a side view. So I have everything matching up, and and what I wanted to do is I still wanted to make sure that proportions felt good, um, and so you know like for instance from the side view she matches up pretty much one to one uh, with the concept. Uh, the thing that I did to make sure that the proportions felt good to me, um, like all around, is I made sure that the the lower body, this uh, this tail, the the knees, for lack of a better, I don't know, I don't know what else to call it, uh, that those are kind of turned off toward the camera a little bit more. So that creates that foreshortening that we're getting with the uh, with the tail here. Um, you know, I got like the the shape and the thickness of the arms, the 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 positioning of the chest. Uh, let's close this one. I don't need this one. Um, the face, the face matches up with the concepts. Um, it's, I mean, it's slightly different angle. Everything's kind of slightly different angle. Um, so it's kind of hard to to play with that, but you know, whatever. Uh, I try to match things up as closely as possible, and it ended up with something that that I really liked, it was really fun. Um, let me see, I'm trying to think of something else that that I did. This is based off of a concept, but this is, some, and this is something I did very early on as well. I wonder if, do I have the concept up here? Yeah, there we go. So here's this uh, this concept from Martin Abel. He's a uh, he's an artist down in Australia. He's brilliant. He's super good. I love this this design, and I wanted to make it in three D. So I asked him permission, and and he said yes. And um, I went through and sculpted her out. And she was so much fun. I've, I'm I still plan on going through and building out the rest of her, 
and maybe making like a maquette. Um, I had I was fortunate enough to get some drawovers from a friend of mine at uh, at DreamWorks. Um, shout out to Paul Shaney, thanks, buddy. And uh, yeah, it was it's it was a great opportunity for me to be able to one learn from a professional um, at a time when I was trying to really break into the industry. This is seven years ago. Um, and I've done some updates on her since then, but it's just, it's just, it's so incredibly helpful trying to go in and get good feedback from people. So try early on to have projects where you're working from somebody else's concept. Okay. Like we've got right down here. And then also being able to then take that opportunity to, uh, you know, create something that's really stunning and beautiful for your, for your portfolio. These sorts of these sorts of projects early on are what's going to help you to to get to a point of uh, of getting more of the projects that you want. Um, let me see. Did you make this whole hand on the stream? I did the whole pose. Yeah, yeah, the whole pose for that fist um, was on the stream. I did a, I did a whole bunch this stream. We've we've been kind of busy. I did some wrinkles in the shirt. Um, I did some finesse in. In fact, I still kind of want to go ahead and kind of pull that arm back a little bit, um, just to kind of wind it up, give it some more energy. But um, I also pulled this leg up, pulled the shoe up. <laughs> I had to do it separately because I forgot to position it with the with the leg. You know, whatever as you do, right? Um, had to clean up the shorts to make sure that they were working well with the pose, with the new pose. Okay. Um, yeah, we've done we've done a lot this stream. It's been kind of a kind of a productive stream. It's been about three hours now. So I need to kind of I'm gonna do one last thing of like just taking this arm and pushing it back. Um just a little bit more so that way it feels more um, like it's got more energy, more wind up behind it. Okay, so we're gonna, okay, let's, let's go ahead and save this real quick before we don't. <clears throat> okay. My favorite tool for posing is, um, Transpose Master, super, super helpful. Zignot. Is it Zignot or is it Zignot? <laughs> it could be like a French thing. Um, has this model been recorded from the beginning? No. Uh, this is one that I've kind of done more in my spare time, just without without streaming mostly. Uh, a lot of it has been done in demos at, uh, for my class at Nomen. Um, I wanna do, but yeah, so I, 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 try, to, I try to go through and, and share progress on things every once in a while. She's, she's coming along, she's almost done. I do, I do, like I was saying earlier, I do kind of feel like I want to add some sort of like wristbands or something. Um, she's got her choker on, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, she's fun. <laughs> she, she's so stinking fun. Olivier, I want to do creatures, uh, but I want to find work too. So props is fun too. Yeah. So, so that's, that's, a, that's a great point is, you know, <clears throat> having at the beginning, having in your portfolio things that, uh, you don't mind doing, you know, like, you know, for instance, uh, I have friends that are just like, I just want to model. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, you know, that's great. It's, it's great to have that kind of energy. Um, and, and to be all right, modeling things that you're not so excited about, but that still allows you to refine your techniques and get better at things. Um, and then to be able to work toward having a, little hummingbirds coming out to play um uh, you know working towards having the jobs that are closer to what it is that you want to be doing i mean it, it i only just barely started working for marvel back in may 
I've been at this for like 10 years <laughs> and I'm, I'm finally doing like the exact job that I want to be doing, which is awesome. It's so, so awesome. And it's, it takes time. It takes time. And it's, it's, it's important to be patient with yourself. Yeah. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, okay. That's right. Transpose master. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's all just, it's a matter of being, being patient with yourself. Every artist in ZBrush lives, very inspiring. Watch you guys all the time. Yeah, I find a lot of inspiration from people here. It's just, it's great. Okay, let's grab that shirt and the body. And then I'm just going to mask right here. Right here. Bring everything back, invert that mask. Oh shoot. Okay, so now we can come over here, bring this back so that it's got more power, more energy to it. Oh, we're getting like too much from the breast there. Here, let's go ahead and we'll do something like, do something like this. Oops. Okay. Let's try this again. Still getting a little bit of like too much, like a little too much pull on that breast. We can, we can fix that though. It's not a huge deal. Kind of pull that arm back. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. I'm going to take this. I'm going to kind of rotate it up a little bit. And I think what I want to do also is like take these broken wings and learn to fly again. Sorry, that was <laughs> so uncalled for. Just kidding. Um, let's go ahead and grab this. Kind of pull that into, into position here. a little bit nicer give it a little bit more of that uh, I feel like that might be a little bit too far back now though and I mean I can I can see some things here that I need to fix like I feel like the uh, I feel like the forms in this forearm might be a little bit too too forward oops and I kind of almost feel like the hands are a little small Hey, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to increase the size of the hands by about 10%. It's kind of a quick and easy way to do this. Kind of soften out that mask. And come down here to the wrist. And I'm going to hold shift and scale up other way. Something like that feels much, much better. So yeah, by holding shift, it kind of like snaps in 5% intervals. So that's super helpful in getting things kind of put together. Let's go ahead, let's do the same thing over here on the other side. Okay. Cool, again, hold shift, one, two right there to 10%. You could tell it's 10% because it'll have the number there that says 1.1. Uh, so that means it's 10% bigger. Okay, that feels much more, uh, much more accurate to the character. So I, 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 feel, I feel good with that. I'm gonna pull her breast back inside of the shirt. Grab this hood and just kind of pull it just a little bit, just to just to kind of emphasize the motion a little bit more. Maybe pull it down some. I don't know. Cool. 
cool. Something like that. That feels pretty stinking cool. All right, let's go ahead and let's take it back. Tipo's sub T to watch the hands change size and things like that. <laughs> it's always my favorite thing about the transpose master is like sending it back and getting the uh, getting the whole like change one sub tool at a time. It's it's incredible. It's so much fun. I'm gonna kind of give a little bit more twirl to that hair. Okay, something kind of like that. Cool. <laughs> So a few things that, that I still have yet to do. I mean, I still need to go through and add in the, the bracelets like I was, or you know, whatever wrist wrist wrap I want to have on her. Um, I need to, oh, not the body with the sword. In fact, I'll probably go ahead and just say delete on that one for now. And then if I wanted to, I can just go ahead and I can adjust the fist. Instead, I like this fist. Um, replace that. Um, so yeah, whatever I wanted to be able to add to her wrists, uh, that'll be that'll be a, a job for another day. Um, I need to add in like a tie for her uh, for her waist or like waist drawstring here. Um, probably add some sort of uh, some sort of tie kind of flying off of the uh, off of the hood so that it feels a little bit more uh, convincing as a piece of clothing um, I don't know maybe she needs an infinity gauntlet I don't know what do you think <laughs> give her like this big gem studded infinity stone studded uh, infinity gauntlet and everything and make her like ah! uh, it could be cool too to explore a version where the hand is kind of like kind of like you know like ah, like claw fist sort of thing um <laughs> it's always on resume just trust me i worked on something really really cool really cool you'll see it in 2024 i can't believe i missed that that's funny. <laughs> yeah. I think this. Here, let's say all high. That way we can get all of our fancy details in there. So much fun. So much fun, guys. I love doing this stuff. And it's. Let's see. Uh, turn off symmetry. Cool. Yeah, I just I just have fun, and I think that's kind of the uh, kind of the secret of life, isn't it? You know, you just go through and you just have fun with it. Dang, so much fun. Do dynamic on all the things. <laughs> The body could stand to use like another subdivision or something. There we go. Something like that feels pretty good. Now she feels like she's super, uh, super muscular in the tummy and she's not very muscular anywhere else <laughs> it's kind of even out some of this toning because i feel like it doesn't need to be so intense i can still go through and have some of the form that i built in there but i don't want to have the definition be so intense because then it just feels 
just too intense. That feels better. That feels a little bit better. One of the things I'm trying to weigh in is like if I want to add in some sort of little crease to her side since it's all, you know, bent up. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and let's do this. And that way we can get like a little bit of a crease and we can get, you know, keep our, keep our topology fairly, uh, fairly even. There we go. That feels a little bit better. That way it's like we can we can say that we're explaining the pose a little bit with the uh with the addition of that bit of the anatomy. Um because yeah, with a little bit of a twist there, there's going to be a little bit of a fold. Okay. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> she's like she's like not messing around. She means business. Awesome. Man, you guys, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. This was fun. I always have a good time <laughs> playing around. <laughs> and especially when I'm playing around with something that's this uh that's this fun, right? Oh good times. Good times, the ZBrush Live. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a day. 11 o'clock is a good time to call it. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Uh, I will be on again next week. I don't think it's on the official calendar, but yeah, this is just my typical time slot. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'll see you guys next time I see you. And next week, I'm hoping to start a new project, something completely unrelated to anything that I've, you know, like, like completely from, from the beginning. I'm not sure. <sighs> yeah. I'm not sure if I'll start from a base mesh or if I'll start from complete scratch, but we'll have to see. Cause like, it'll be a super long project if I start from scratch. Um, and I kind of want the, uh, the ability to take things over into Maya quickly for rendering. So I think I'll probably start from a from a base mesh that I have for this project. It'll be a collaboration project done with uh, Caitlin Wing, which I'm really excited about. So uh, she she reached out to me a few weeks ago and she was like, "Hey, uh, I love your stuff, and I'm a photographer. I do collaborations with artists, and I would love to collaborate with you." And I was like, "Okay, well, let's let's do something." <laughs> you know what I just got to a point where I was so happy with this and now I'm just like I want to make the hand and maybe it's maybe it's something we can undo if we decide we don't like it but let's go through and make sure that we have yeah it's not not right. Okay. I like that better. That feels that feels more. And in fact, I think it might be better if I had that arm kind of rotated down so that the elbow was down in this area. Ah. <sighs> okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Since we we already have our our transpose mesh here, we're going to go ahead and say, oh, that's right. We're going to say, let's grab our shirt, grab our character. Let's grab the body. Okay, you see like the shirt, the, the body's coming through the shirt. Mm. Oh well. Yeah, 
let's go ahead and actually um, let's hide the shirt real quick. There we go. Let's kind of bring this uh, bring this arm. Now we can bring this on. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and kind of bring that down. That's better. Come on, you. Let's go ahead and let's mask this out. Sorry, I, I do this all the time <laughs> where it's like, oh, I'm all done. Psych. <laughs> Go ahead and kind of bring this up. Like, I feel like I'm almost there. It's it's just a matter of making a couple little tweaks. And in fact, I could probably do these tweaks here with everything unmasked. Just give myself a little bit more flex there on top of that muscle. Since she's pulling her fist toward her, uh, toward her, her bicep a little bit. Pull that shirt on the outside here. In fact, we can even pull it down some. Dang. I need to be better at like saying I'm done and then just being done. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't mind. <laughs> it's not like there's anybody cued to go after me, so you know. We're alright in that aspect. In that res in that regard, that's better. Okay, now let's go ahead and say T post sub T and watch the arm and the shirt kind of do its thing. It's like that's always the exciting part to me. I know I said that already, but doggone it, it's still true. <laughs> Oh, Jose, I'm about to tune out. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> but thank you for saying hi. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's like, there are some of you guys that, you know, we're, we're friends on Discord and everything, and it's like, I... Yeah, I don't ever see you guys in the stream, but it's uh but it's fun, you know? We still have fun. Got to kind of get rid of some of that here. Yeah. I swear I'm almost done. I swear I'm almost done. Yeah, I started. Uh, I started at about eight o'clock this morning, uh, and I well, you know, eight o'clock Pacific time, right? Um, you guys do the math for where you are in the world. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I, I've been going ever since then. We did a ton on this character and. Which is great because I mean she's, um, you know I, I I've been wanting to finish my Sailor Moon character for a long time, and uh, like I I've done so many different modifications to her. Uh, like this is not an official, um, congrats on the Christmas ornament print turning out. Yeah, they turned out great. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> yeah, it's. It's it's fun. It's so much fun. Um, 
yeah, I'm just I'm just grateful to finally get to her and to be able to show you kind of the way that my demo turned out for Nomen last night. This is this is kind of our uh, our lighting rendering demo that I did, and so I'm wanting to take now the finished model, put her over into this uh, final lighting scene, and do some actual look development. It should be really really fun. It takes a lot of work to get it to be right, but it should be really really fun to get this to to work right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so this is rendered in in Maya with Arnold. Um, but yeah, I mean the rest, she's all sculpted and and uh, painted and everything else inside of inside a ZBrush. So that's kind of the uh, there's there's another angle. <laughs> She's just funny. <laughs> it's a super extreme angle, and I think that the uh, the lens isn't doing her any favors. But you know, it's 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 fun, and it's just for the sake of fun anyway. So let's make sure that this is saved because I lose it all the time. Boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. So yeah, it's nice to see characters in different vibes, and looks like they did in Wreck It Ralph too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. But yeah, so there's there's Sailor Moon. I keep forgetting if I saved or not, and I know that I I just saved, like literally just saved. Um, the only thing I did differently was I changed my camera, and I think it's I think I get used to uh, Maya and the way that I have. Um, in the way that you know, if you move your camera, you essentially have a new scene and you you know maya doesn't recognize it as the same scene you gotta resave you know it's <laughs> just like good gravy so let's go ahead let's kind of put this over here we'll give a couple different views of her so that it's so that it's fun you know cool anyway we'll call it good for now <laughs> Ah, oh, so much fun. I had I had a great time, guys. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me and uh, chatting and shooting the breeze. Um, man, I had so much fun. Oh, I don't know if I've shared uh, the print of the... Uh, just for the sake of being able to show you guys. This is, this is the 3D print that Doug was talking about. Um... I sculpted these guys during live stream. So it's, uh, yeah, so these were, I did the first guy, the top guy here during ZBrush Live. Um, and then I did the middle guy during my personal stream. I did the bottom guy, I believe, during ZBrush Live. And then I think I got it all ready for print in my personal stream. So, yeah, so if you're interested in checking that out, being able to see kind of more of the process. You can go back and look at ZBrush Live uh, stuff, or you can go to youtube.com slash smartest. And uh, you should be able to find some cool videos there. Uh, the middle one makes me laugh all the time. He's giving him a wedge. He doesn't, he's not giving him a wedge. He's holding his belt. <laughs> but it is kind of funny. Um, <clears throat> I like I like the top guy personally because he's got like this like like he's like oh my god so heavy <laughs> so it's good it's good it's fun but yeah there we are Sailor Moon you know, fighting injustice or whatever she said I can't remember so yeah there we go very cool alrighty guys. I will be back on next Saturday. Yeah, next Saturday I should be on. I think I have next Saturday on, and then I don't stream the rest of the year because of holidays. You know, I'm trying to take a little bit of a break. Uh, but then I'll be starting back up in, in in January. So yeah, next Saturday and then January. So here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go do some fun stuff. Have a great Saturday, guys. Um, I appreciate you. Go have fun. Have a great day. Be safe. Don't get sick. And stay creative. <laughs>
<laughs> see you next time I see you. Smartest out.